This is one of my all-time favorite crochet project that is quick to make and suitable to be as a gift to any ages. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet a classic rose. Hi, this is Zatisha from Zatisha Creates. Classic rose was my all-time favorite project since 2019 when I was offered to open a convocation booth in my own graduation day for free. I wasn't expecting that my roses will be selling out like a hot cakes as people like it as a flower that never fades away. I was celebrating a double joy of my own graduation while selling out my roses. During that time, I'm also taking time to learn how to wrap the bouquet as a single bouquet and make menu boxes so that I can make sure that my items are sellable in a certain pricing point. If you want to skip this video and jump to the written pattern directly, you can always find them in my blog which I link in the description down below. Now let's jump to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to use a super fine yarn, yarn weight number one. So in this um, tutorial, I'm using the MC Natural Rajas Cotton. You can use any color of yarn that you want to use. We are going to use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, a, a cutter to cut the yarns, a tapestry needle, we also need a floral wire which this is size SWG30 which is the thinnest wire that I can find in my local store. We also need a hot glue gun, a hot glue gun and a skewer for the stock. Optionally, you also can use a floral wire that has thicker feature um, in case if you don't have skewer. We are going to make 16 double crochet in a magic ring so this is how to wrap the yarn in your finger so to make a magic ring wrap the yarn around the middle finger and then insert the hook inside the loop pull the yarn through the loop okay now we have a circle around my middle finger. Chain two first. One, two. Now we are ready to make 16 double crochet across the loop. Yarn over. Insert the hook. Grab a yarn. Bring it. Bring it over. You have three strands. Yarn over. Pull the yarn through two loops only. Yarn over, finish it. This is one double crochet. Okay, I like to release my middle finger from the magic ring so that I can work like this. Now we are going to make the second double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook inside the magic ring, grab a yarn. Bring it over. Three loops. Now yarn over. Pull through two loops. Then yarn over. Finish it off. Again, yarn over. Insert the hook inside the magic ring. Grab a yarn. Pull it upwards. I have three loops. Yarn over. Pull through two loops only. And I have remaining two. Yarn over, finish it off. Repeat this until you get 16 double crochet. Fifteen and sixteen. Now I have sixteen double crochet in a magic ring. Now what I'm going to do is to pull this um, excess tail so that I can close the middle loop, and I get this kind of shape. Now I'm going to slip stitch at the first stitch of double crochet. This is my first double crochet, so I'm going to slip stitch here. Slip stitch. 
okay now chain two one two now we are going to make two double crochet in each stitch making it a total of 32 stitches all together double crochet at the first stitch another double crochet at the first stitch then only we can proceed at the next stitch make two double crochet at each of the stitch one two okay proceed at the next stitch one One, two, one, and two. Proceed this kind of pattern until you reach at the end of the stitch. This is the last stitch. One, two. Then slip stitch at the very first double crochet. This is my first double crochet just now. This is its head. So insert your hook inside, inside two loops to slip stitch. One, two. Okay. Now we are going to pick up a piece of wire. Now we are going to do chain one while inserting the wire. So insert, uh, put the wire like this in between of the yarn strand and the last loop. Like this. And then chain one okay chain one leave some excess of the wire at the right side now we are going to work single crochet at the next stitch then two single crochet at the next stitch then repeat one single crochet two double crochet until at the end of the stitch one single crochet at the next stitch grab a yarn and then grab a yarn, pull then two single crochet at the next stitch one two if you can see here that we are actually covering the wire with the single crochet so that at the end it will wrap around like this now single crochet at the next stitch then two single crochet at the next stitch one two now repeat again one single crochet at the next stitch Two single crochet at the next stitch. One, 
one single crochet two single crochet all right so you have to repeat this until you reach at the end of the stitch Now we have completed. We are going to slip stitch at the first single crochet. So this is your wire. This is your wire. Slip stitch over here. Grab the yarn then slip stitch. Chain one and then cut off. So this is one petal of the rose. Twist the floral wire like this for about 2 to 3 inches. I think 2 inches is enough. Then pick your cutter to cut the wire. Okay. Now pick up your tapestry needle. I'm going to sew all the excess yarns inside the inside the stitches. So starting with the magic ring, the center. Now I'm going to sew it through the double crochet that I made. So same goes to the fasten of um, tail. I'm going to sew it inside the single crochet that I made just now. I prefer to make I I prefer to sew it at the back side. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can cut the excess tail. And finish one petal. This is um, small petal. For this project, we need four small petals and three big petals. Now we are going to create another three petals similar like this. Now we are going to make the big petal. Starting with magic ring, we are going to work six single crochet in this magic ring. Insert your hook like this. Grab the yarn, pull it through, chain one, and now we are ready to make six single crochet in this magic ring. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull it up, yarn over, pull it through. This is one single crochet. Two single crochet, three single crochet, four, five, and six. Pull the magic ring tail to make the circular circular shape and then slip stitch at the first single crochet 
if this is one of my tip if you are if i am if you are if you are unsure where is the first single crochet i will count backwards like this is my sixth stitch six five four three two and one so this is my first single crochet head i'm going to insert my hook at the two loop grab a yarn and pull it at the both of the yarn and this is my slip stitch then chain one now we are going to make two single crochet in each stitches making a total of 12 single crochet Now I have two single crochet in one stitch. Now I'm going to proceed at the next stitch here. One, two, and then repeat two single crochet at each of the stitch. And then slip stitch at the first single crochet. Chain 1. Now we are going to make 1 single crochet at the next stitch. Then 2 single crochet at the next stitch. And then repeat 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet at every stitch until at the end of the stitch. Now 1 single crochet at the next stitch. Then two single crochet at the next stitch. Then repeat one single crochet at the next stitch. And two single crochet at the next stitch. Repeat 1, 2, 1, 2 until at the end of the stitch. Then slip stitch at the first single crochet. This is my first single crochet. I slip my crochet hook over here. Grab the yarn. Then pull it through all of the loop. Okay. Now I have one, two, three rows. For the fourth row, chain one. Now we are going to make two single crochet at the next two stitches then two single crochet at the next stitch and then we will repeat that sequence until at the end of the stitch one, sing one single crochet at the next stitch and then another one single crochet at the next stitch okay and then increase 
make two single crochet at the next stitch. One, two. Now basically I have one, one, two. Okay. Now repeat. Single, two single crochet at the next two stitches meaning one single, one single crochet at the next stitch and the second single crochet at the next stitch and then two single crochet at the next stitch one and two okay repeat two single crochet at the next two stitches one and then another one at the next stitch then two single crochet at the next stitch so for this project two single crochet at the next stitch meaning increase so i think it is much easier if i say two single crochet at the next two stitches then increase two single crochet at the next two stitches then increase at the next stitch meaning i am adding one more stitch at that one stitch okay repeat until at the end of the circle Then slip stitch at the first single crochet here. So at this moment, I have 24 single crochet across the circle. Now we are going to make the fifth row, chain one. I'm going to make three single crochet at the next three stitches and then increase. 1 single crochet at the 1 stitch 1 single crochet at the next stitch and then another 1 single crochet at the next stitch I have 3 single crochet at the next 3 stitches and then I want to make an increase at the next stitch so I have to make 2 single crochet at the next stitch 1 and two so this is basically one two three increase we are going to repeat that pattern across the circle one two three and then increase one two three and then increase one two three and then increase One, two, three, and then increase at the next stitch.
then slip stitch at the first single crochet so I have total of 30 single crochet across the fifth row now I'm going to make the sixth row chain one for this time I'm going to make four single crochet at the next four stitches and then increase one two this is two at the next stitch three at the next stitch four at the next stitch then increase at the next stitch meaning I have to make two single crochet at one stitch one and then two so it's basically I have one two three four individual single crochet at at each stitch and then two single crochet at one stitch one two three four increase one two three four increase now i'm going to repeat that motion now i'm going to repeat that pattern across the circle four single crochet at the next four stitch one and then the next stitch two single crochet at the four, four single crochet at the next four stage one two three four and then increase at the next stage two single crochet at the one stitch okay now I'm going to repeat this across the circle then slip stitch at the first single crochet I should have 36 single crochet across the circle now for the seventh row chain one then I'm going to make five single crochet at the next five stitch and then increase one and then three at the third stage fourth at the fourth stage and then five at the fifth stage now I have five single crochet at the five stitches and then increase meaning two single crochet at the next stage so for this time I have one two three four five and then increase so repeat that pattern one two three four five increase one two three four five increase Then slip stitch at the first single crochet.
for the eight row we are going to insert the wire across the single crochet just like we did on the first pattern we are going to make chain one while inserting this wire chain one now we are going to make six single crochet at the next six stitches and then increase while inserting the wire One, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase at the next stitch, meaning two single crochet at the next stitch. One and two. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase. So repeat that pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase at the seventh stitch. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and then the seven one increase, increase two single crochet at the next stitch. Okay, and then repeat until at the end of the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Increase at the seventh stitch. Repeat that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Increase at the seventh stitch. One, two. Another two sets. One, Two, three, four, five, six. And then increase at the seventh stitch. Last seven. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and then increase at the seventh stage, and then bring this wire up, and then slip stitch at the first single crochet, like this. All right. And then chain one, pull the yarn, and then cut the yarn. Twist the pair of wire like this until you have around two inches. Twist, 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 and then you cut it around 2 inches and then pick up your tapestry needle to sew the excess yarn first I'm going to sew the excess yarn in the middle and 
and then I'm going to sew in between of the of the single crochet that I made. I like to sew at the wrong side of the petal. Sew it until you feel that the yarn has been secured. Okay, now I can cut this off. Now the last one, do, do the same. Sew it in between of single crochet. And then cut it. And we are done doing the first big petal. We are going to make this similar petal another two. So we have total of three petals. Now we have four small petals and three big petals. And now we are going to assemble all petals onto the stick. Preheated the hot glue gun first. We will start with the small petal. Put the stick at the center of the petal and put the uh, glue, put the glue onto the stick. Oops. And then wrap the small petal like this. And wrap the floral wire around the stick. like this then pick up the next small petal wrap it around wrap it around like this and then wrap the floral wire first at the bottom then pick up the next petal wrap it like this Make sure that the third petal overlap the second petal. And then wrap the wire first. Pick up the fourth petal, overlap on the third petal. And at the right side, make sure that it is slipped underneath the second petal. So the, from the top view, it will look like this. Then wrap the wire at the bottom of the flower and you will get something like this this is a top view of the flower you can see that it is overlap to each other to secure the position of the flower petals uh, we are going to glue uh, at the overlap area which at this side this side this side, this side, this side, and this side. So we have six area that we are going to glue. Now we have done with the small petal. Now we are going to incorporate the big petals around the small petals with the same uh, manner of the small petals. So we are going to arrange the big petal. So to make it more beautiful, make sure that this petal is adjacent to the uh, this cross of the uh, of the small petals like this 
and I like to leave a little bit extra uh, over the small petal but it still remain the same uh, at the bottom okay so it is it will arrange like this put it like this and wrap the wire at the bottom then take the second petal put it over here wrap it round and then wrap the wire take the third petal overlap on the second petal wrap it around and then slip the right right side underneath the first petal like this and then wrap the wire around the bottom and we are going to do the same as a small petal we are going to glue at the overlap area which are which are this side this side this side this part then the last two part is here and here This is how it looks like at the top view. Now what are we going to do is we are going to fold the petals at, to the outside so that it will give the bloom effect. Just fold it a little. A little bit like this. Next here. And then here, actually you can also fold the small petals uh, around here. These three last one, two, three, four, five, So as you can see here, I accidentally uh, spilled the glue at here, here. So I'm going to cut it out as much as I can. Now we have finished the crochet rules. Optionally, you can wrap the floral tape around the around the skewer if you want to. And then goes around till at the bottom. Now we have a perfect whole one rose. So you can make a few roses to be arranged in a vase, or you even can make a bouquet, a bouquet of few flowers, or a bouquet of single rose, like this picture. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to teach you how to arrange flowers on the vase or make a single flower bouquet or make a bouquet of flowers. What should I teach next? Please let me know in the comments below. I shall see you in the next project. Bye!